Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we're going to work on a pineapple lace shell. So this is an adapted pattern. I didn't write this pattern. This is an adaptation based on the original that you see here. So this is using Bernat Handicrafter Crochet Thread and I have a hard time using this size of yarn uh, for myself personally because I got a little bit of a tremor in my hand. So I have rewritten the instructions for you using a five millimeter size H crochet hook using Karen Simply Soft Yarn and I have rewritten written the instructions for you. Just because I've rewritten it does not make it my own pattern. This still belongs to Yarnspirations.com. I just provided you the information that is available to you and this is available on our website as well within the link in the more information and it will take you right through all of this. We also have a crochet diagram available for you today and without further ado let's get started on looking at that diagram next. So here's the crochet diagram regardless if you're working with it with crochet thread or using the Karen Simply Soft the diagram is still gonna be the same as the stitches are still the same. So you're going to be noticing that we are going to start up and we just have to ignore the outside border. So you're gonna see all these plus signs. So those are single crochets. So you can see here is the instructions for what those symbols mean. So you have to worry about the surrounding ones later. So you're gonna start off right here and you're going to chain a certain amount of count in order to do it. So if you're, you're working with the pineapple uh, lace version, you're going, or pineapple lace with the crochet thread, it's 394 chains that you need in order to go all the way across to get the dimensions that are in the project. And for the Karen Simply Soft, the size H, five millimeter crochet hook you only need to chain 200. So there's a significant difference in the chain counts but you shouldn't be surprised it's a different size hook. So once you get all the way across we're going to then uh, count back and we're gonna start making the foundation in order to jump back and there's a lot of chain work within this entire project. So in between each one of these pineapples that you see there is a consistency of this that goes up. So even though it's only showing you two repeat patterns on this just to visualize this over here is the same as this and then it transitions to another and another. So you're going to notice that that this is the middle section. So if, if you eliminate this out just to visualize this is on the same one over here. So you're going to then work your way back and you're just gonna be able to count the number of chains and on my on my own pattern what I did is that I just went and I looked ahead and I just started writing my notes in the project. So what I did is that when I was doing it myself is that I wrote the number of chain counts as I was doing it. So there was chains of seven, there was threes, there was fives and if you do that in your pattern right off the hop it makes it a lot easier for you to be able to follow. So you can uh, just opt to do that if you wish. So you're just gonna continue to work across and just get this whole pineapple done and you're going to notice that there's a repeat. So from this row right here to this row is the exact same pattern. So when you get that done all the way up here you come back down here and you restart again. So when you go to finish up this project right in the end you are going to make sure that you are finishing up right here on this row. Okay so it's the same as this row right here. Okay, so this is just, this section here is just showing you how it's repeating into, it, into each other. It just makes it a lot easier. But in order to move up, in order to do the edging, you need to finish off on row number eight. Sorry, row number nine. So row number nine is what happens is before you start doing the edging. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna work our way back and forth and I'm gonna show you just only one repeat like so and then I'm gonna leave the back uh, the, the rest of it for you and then you can just reverse the video and continue to go uh, like as you see it here. If you would like to make this pattern bigger or smaller the multiple counts are 15. So if you chain and set to 15 so you go 15, 15, 15, 15 when you're satisfied with the length just add an additional five and you will have the right balance in order to continue to add more pineapples. So if you want more pineapples you want it longer just add it more multiples of 15 and then of course if you want more pineapples stacked on, on each other just don't stop when I tell you and just continue along. So without further ado let's grab our yarn and let's continue. For demonstration reasons I am going to be showing you size H five millimeter crochet hook the, the version that is adapted and if this is the lace version the instructions are still the same. It's just the chain counts are different right in the very beginning. So if you're working with the crochet lace uh, thread then you are going to uh, chain 394. If you're doing my version of the adapted it's chaining of 200 and I'm just gonna do a small sample with you. So just uh, continue to chain so one, two, three, four and five and if you want to change the size completely if you just chain in sets of 15 then you can make your own size as well. So please continue to do whatever you want to do and I'll see you at the end of this chain. 
So now that you've done your chain, what we're gonna do now is establish this first part. So if it helps you to write things down on your pattern if you want to print it, there is seven chains in this big sections. So I write down the number seven and you can do seven and seven and then there's three in the other ones. You're gonna notice that all these little pineapple strips that you see here, they're all made up of chaining three. So three is almost a consistent number each and every time. So then how many uh, do we have to skip over? So we're gonna do the first one. So one, two, three, four, and five. So there's gonna be five chains here and there's gonna be five here, five and five. So we just have to watch our counts right off the hop and then you'll get yourself started and you'll be on the right path. So let's get ourselves started. We're gonna go fourth chain from the hook. So one, two, three, and four and I want you to double crochet into the fourth chain. And I want you to double crochet a total of two times. So that was one and two. Just like you see. So that first one, that chains that you skipped is considered one double crochet. There's another and another. So there's a total of three. So now we have to chain seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then we come back down on the chain and we count and skip five. So one, two, three, four, and five and go to the six and I want you to single crochet. Now we're gonna chain three. So one, two, three and I want you to skip over two chains. So one and two go to the third and single crochet. So that is the middle of your pineapple that you just established right here. Okay, so let's continue along. So we're gonna chain seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then how many do you skip? You skip five, right? So one, two, three, four, five. Go to the six and single crochet in. Sorry, actually, no, you don't single crochet into that one. You double crochet a total of two times. So this is what's separating the two pineapples from apart from each other. And I'll talk a little bit about this space in just a moment. So you got two double crochets, then you chain one and then two double crochets into the same one. So there's gonna be a total of two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet all in the same stitch right in the middle. So if you're, I have just a small sample here. So what you're gonna do is that this here is the section that divides the pineapple. So you just keep repeating uh, that, this section over and over and over now. So you have the chain seven, you skip the over to the six, the, you single crochet, ch uh, chain three, skip over two, and then go to the third for single and then chain seven and etc. So you keep creating this right here. So we're gonna do it one last time as if you're going down to the side, the other side completely. So you're gonna chain seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then you skip over. How many are you gonna skip? You're gonna skip a total of five. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then single crochet in. So right off the hop, it kind of feels a little bit uh, flimsy, harder to hold, but it's just a matter of getting your pattern started. Now chain three, one, two, three, skip over two, one, two, go to the third for a single crochet. And now you're heading to the other side, so you're gonna chain seven. So this section right here was the middle of the next pineapple, if you can visualize that. So one, two, three, four, five, six and seven and because you're up all the way to the end you can just go right into the very last stitch. If you're off by one or two you can probably almost get away with it if you really had that issue uh, but if not just uh, you can count it over. It's the sixth one over and you're gonna double crochet a total of, of three times. So only in the, in the very edges is there ever gonna be three double crochets that stand with each other. The ones that separate the pineapples there will always be the same thing of two and then chain one and two. So this is your kind of your established base here. You're gonna see that a pineapple is gonna be in these sections here and this is the middle. So let me bring back the diagram and show you something else. So as I bring back the diagram, we've just now come ourselves all the way across and now we're gonna move up. I wanna show you something that's consistent. The edges are all always going to be the same regardless of what edge it is. Okay, it's always gonna be three double crochets. So if it's the one that's starting, it'll be chain three which counts as one and there will be two into the same one. And you're gonna notice that in between all of the pineapples, these exist, okay? They're always gonna be the same. So what we have to really pay attention to is the amount of chain counts in all of it as we go along in the middle of here. 
it's not hard to follow, it's consistent. So what happens on this side happens on the other side. Okay, and then it, because you're moving on the same row, what happens on this side was the same as this and this and etc. So if you can see the balance, it makes this pattern a lot easier to be able to follow. So let's move on to row number two where we're gonna chain up to three, two double crochets into the same one and then we're chaining three. We're gonna double crochet around this, this whole chain or sorry, single crochet around this whole chain and then chain five and single crochet around this chain. So you, you don't need to go into a specific stitch because that will balance out as it stretches and then chain three and we do the center. So the centers will always be the same. Two double crochets into this chain one space followed by chain one and two into that same space and then what you already did over here is the exact same. So as your project moves it down even if this wasn't the edge it'll still be the same thing happening until you get to the edge. Let's move along to row number two. So let's move up to row number two and we're going to chain a total of three. So one, two, three that's your first double crochet that's what it counts as and you're gonna double crochet two more times into that same stitch right underneath. Okay, so there should be three, what appears to be three stitches coming out of the same stitch right in the edge just like you see. So now we're gonna move across and we're gonna chain up three. So one, two and three and this is the chain seven space, right? You're just gonna go right around the chain. Don't go into any uh, stitches and just single crochet and then you're gonna chain five, one, two, three, four and five and you are gonna jump to the next chain two space. So you skip over this middle section completely and just go around the space. So because you're going around the space as this flexes around this will find its resting spot on its own which is fabulous. So now we're gonna head to the first time we're gonna break in between the pineapples and we'll be doing this each and every time. So there will always be three chains. There will always be five in the middle of the pineapple and there will always be three on the other side in this row. So one, two, three and then this is the middle section that will separate them. So there is gonna be two double crochet into that chain one space followed by chain one and two double crochet. And then you keep moving. So what happened over here is gonna happen again and again and again until you get to the end. So just as a recap it's gonna chain three. You're going to single crochet around this chain seven space and then chain five, one, two, three, four and five and then go to the next chain seven. So skip over this middle one completely and single crochet and then you'll chain three. So one, two and three. So now you are coming up to the other side. If you weren't you just continue what, what you know right here in the center and if it's the edge right you're, you're going to go into you're gonna go into the turning chain right at the top into the chain itself and you're gonna double crochet a total of three times. So one, two and three. Okay, so there is what it looks like at this point. So it looks very similar to the diagram because it is the diagram. It's just done in crochet format. So let's move back to the diagram and let's check out row number three. So let's examine row number three. Row number three is the most work out of all of them. These are trebles that you see here and there's a total of 11 of them. So we're gonna double uh, chain up three which counts as a double crochet and two more because the edges are always gonna be the same and then we jump immediately to this chain five space. So we skip right over here and put in 11 trebles. Of all the rows row number three is the most work. Okay, these trebles take a little bit of extra time but it, they look so fabulous so don't deny that. So then as soon as you get those 11 done you immediately just come into the middle with two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet and then jump again to the next chain five space with another 11 and you keep doing that all the way to the other side and then once you get to the other side there's just three double crochets in the side. So let's move along to row number three. So from a structure point of view this chain five that's right in the center and it's in the center where you see the, the edges and that chain fives are going to be exactly what you are going to concentrate on. This is the start of the pineapple in this chain five. So let's begin and we're going to chain up three and uh, two more double crochets into the same spot. Corners are the edges will always be the same. So there's no chains at this point. We immediately come to the next chain five space. It's right in the center. So skip over this chain three, go right to the chain five and I want you to wrap that hook twice for a treble and go right into the space and I want you to do trebles around there. 
you need to keep a count on these. So after you do a whack of them, make sure you do verify and count because if you're off by one or two, it makes a huge difference in the next round, uh, row, which I did that on my sample and I was kind of, I had to frog two rows because I had done that. So what I need to do is just treble a total of 11 times and usually if I'm by myself I will count these out as I go and then I do a verification because I'm a little paranoid because I did get it wrong uh, on one of the rows and I had a frog uh, uh, a substantial amount of work. If you're doing the, the crochet thread you certainly wanna count for sure because you got a lot more work ahead of you because there's a lot more of these pineapples that exist. So let's just uh, do a count here. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then I'm gonna do 10 and 11. So I have now have my 11 in. Oh, I did. Now I do. And now as soon as those 11 are in, I come immediately to the one that separates them right in the center and I immediately just double crochet. So by doing so it pulls that, that in line with it. So you're gonna be two double crochets in the center followed by chain two and then two double, or chain one sorry and then two double crochets into the middle. So you keep doing that all the way across. So you come to the next chain five space and then you do the same thing in the middles. So this is if, as if you're coming to the other side. So again I've got my chain five. It would be my remaining if it was the, if, it, if you were on the end and th so there would be five sorry 11 uh, trebles. Sorry about that. So that's two, three, it's four, it's five, six, and seven, eight, and nine, 10 and 11. So I got 11 in. I I don't like to just, I, I, I get confused sometimes I watch TV or whatever. So I'm gonna count. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. So you wanna verify that first and so when you come into the edge then you just immediately go right into the chain, uh, chain, the final chain, the turning chain and you will double crochet a total of three times. So that was row number three and so you can see that this really does nice, uh, do the nice establishing pattern for this. So let's move along to uh, row number four. So in row number four what we're gonna do then is that we're gonna start establishing these chain threes that you see. So you're gonna immediately do what you always do in the edge and then you chain two and then you come to the first one, chain three, skip one and then single crochet in the next. Chain three, skip one, single crochet in the next. You should have a total count of five of these chain one or chain three spaces on each pineapple going all the way across. When you get to the next section you immediately just chain two and then you do the middle section right here and then chain two and start all over again. Make sure in the, uh, when I did this I, where I went wrong was right here and this very first time I ever went is that I came in right here and I accidentally, I accidentally skipped this completely. So I went from here all the way to here and I had forgotten this one here. So it makes my counts wrong. So I, 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 I would tell you if it were me and I were you, make sure you do count that there's five spaces right at this point because then the rest of it's easier to tell. It's just right at the spot. It can be a little confusing. Let's move along to row number four. So let's move along. We're gonna chain up three and two double crochets in there. So the edging is always gonna be the same so it should be coming automatic for you at this moment. And now we're gonna start establishing our first section of these chain three spaces. So we immediately chain two to before we begin and we come into the first treble that is leaning. Okay, so, and we just single crochet and then followed by chain three. One, two and three skip one and single crochet into the next. And you keep doing that all across your, your treble fan right here. So one, two, three, skip one, single into the next. So one, two, three, skip one, single crochet in the next. One, two, three, single crochet, skip one, single crochet in the next and do it one last time. So one, two, three and go into the last one. So now you should have a total count of five. So one, two, three, four, five. So there should be five chain three spaces. So before you attach it to the middle, 
just chain two first and now just do your middle as normal. So it's two double crochet, chain one and two double crochet. And so you're just gonna continue to repeat all the way across the row using the same format. So we chain two first and then we come into the first treble that's leaning over and single crochet. So chain three, skip one, single into the next. So one, two, three, skip one, single into the next. So one, two, three, skip one, single crochet the next. One, two, three, skip the one, single into the next. One, two, three, single crochet into the final one. So when I made a mistake I accidentally missed this final one uh, when I did it uh, in a practice trial. So then chain up two before you uh, do the edge and then you're going to come into the turning chain of three double crochets as always. Okay and that was row number four. So let's move along to row number five. So row number five we're now going to start and we're gonna uh, sorry we're gonna start here and we're going to uh, double crochet a total of three times that chain three counts as one of them. Now this time last time we did a uh, skipping of chain two here and this time it's three. The next one's four. The next one's five and the last one is seven. So remember two, three, four, five and seven. So what happens is is that the first single crochet is gonna go into the chain three space and you do the same thing. So chain three go into the next space and so on. So because there's five here you can only have four in the next time you do that and it continues in that same passion all the way to do your pineapples. So on this side before you attach to the middle like you had over here there's chaining a three and then you do your middle. So chain three again coming to the first space and so on and when you come to the end it's the same thing. So just be consistent as you work your way across row number five. So let's move up to row number five. So we're gonna chain up three counts as a double crochet and you're gonna double crochet two more times. So now we're gonna chain three. So one, two and three and this I love this round row. You know why? Everything is a chain three. So I'm chaining three and I'm going to the first chain three space. Okay if you're not sure just look where you are on the, the fan of trebles and you're noticing that you're skipping the first one anyway that was your chain two. So this must be your chain three and you're gonna single crochet. So everything on this row every time you hit it is always gonna be chaining a three. That's the nice thing about it. So one, two, three go to the next space. Single crochet. One, two, three come to the next space, single crochet, one, two, three, next space and then one, two, three, next space. So what you have here this time is that there's gonna be a total of four chain three spaces. So one, two, three and four and then see this is the space before the, the edge. We don't go in there. So we just chain three. So one, two, three and do your middle as you normally would. So two double crochet first. Chain one, two double crochet. And now you work your way all the way across doing the same fashion. So chain three. So one, two, three come to the first chain three space. Remember you've got to skip this first one. Okay, you're just going right into the top of the, the fan work and then one, two, three, go to the next space. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three and then coming up here and then that's it. So now you just have this space that's in the edge. We don't go in there and you go one, two, three and you place your three double crochets then right in the edge. So this is an easy one to remember. Everything was in about chaining of threes and so you're gonna notice that it's gonna start going out like this on you. Don't worry about it. It will balance out. So it, you'll see that happening very shortly. Let's move along to row number six. So row number six we're gonna start up chain up three you got three double crochets. So this time there's gonna be four chains now here and then you come to these spaces as you see there's only gonna be three groups this time and then chain four and then in the middle. Chain four then you do the middle section and then chain four. So just remember that these edges here get more and more chains as the pineapple separates then from the edge work that you see. 
So let's keep moving on row number six. So let's chain up three. So one, two, three and then coming into the same space or same stitch you're gonna do two more double crochets. So this time we're gonna chain four right off the hop. So one, two, three and four and then we come to our first chain three space and we're gonna single in but we still do our chain three. So one, two, three and go to the next space. One, two, three, go to the next space and then one, two, three and go to the next space and now you're out of spaces because this one here leads to the middle. So now you chain four. So one, two, three and four and then come into the middle. So it's gonna be the same thing as always. So it's nice to have that stabilizer right in the middle and then chain one and two double crochets and you keep doing that all the way across. So to start it again is chaining a four. So one, two, three and four come to the first chain three space single one, two, three go to the next space one, two, three and one, two, three and come to this space and look this space here leads to the end so I know I don't go in there so I chain up four. So one, two, three and four and when it's on the edge it's always gonna be in the turning chain of three double crochets. Just like that. Okay and that was row number six. So let's move along to row number seven. So we're continuing now to move up and row number seven you're gonna notice that there's more of a space here at this point so you're gonna chain up three you have your two into the same. This time there will be five and then you'll go into these three which only leaves you two this time. Chain five. Do the middle. Chain five. And do the next two. Chain five. Continue all the way and then at the end there will be three into the edge spots. Let's move along. Row number seven. So moving all the way across then for row number seven let's begin chain up three and two more double crochets into the same one. This time we chain five. So one, two, three, four and five and we come into the first chain three space available to you. Single crochet and then chain three and then come to the next chain three space. Single crochet and then chain three come to the next one and you're done. That's all their chain three spaces there are for you and now you chain five. So one, two, three, four and five and then you come to the middle. So you can see the pineapples are really separating from that middle sections and that's what makes it really quite desirable. So two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet as always. just like you see. So you see it really kind of just hovering right in the middle, right? So you keep doing that. So chain five. So one, two, three, four and five and then come into the first. So one, two, three and then one, two, three and then come into the next one and that's it. You're out of those and then you see the next one leads to the end. So if this is a middle section it would just be the middle section. So chain five, one, two, three, four and five and then just in the turning chain three double crochets. So that was row number seven. So row number eight is the final before the repeat pattern begins all over again. So we're just gonna come along, chain up three, two double crochets into the same one and this time there will be seven chains and then we come into the first chain three and come across. So there will only be one left on top then another seven in the middle and we keep doing that all the way across and then when you get to the other side there will be three in the end. So you'll notice that the repeat pattern shows you from here. Okay this is row number two all the way to number eight because you will see that this line here this is th the beginning line as you saw it right down here. Okay so it's just showing you how it builds up but the actual repeat is down here. So you can reverse the video at this uh, at that point and then you can just continue to follow it up with me and then at the very end you wanna finish off on row number um, eight just like you see up here and then we'll start the edging going all the way around. So let's move along and let's start our row and final row in the repeat of number eight. So row number eight is really quite an easy one so we're gonna chain up three and two more into the same one as always. Ok 
Okay, so now that we have to chain seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then we come into the first chain three space and single in. And then chain three. And then the next chain three. And that's all there is. Okay, it's just that one. And now you end up with the middle here. So this one's a really quick uh, row. So this chain seven again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then you do your middle as normal. So there'll be two uh, double crochets, chain one, two double crochet, and you continue that same idea going all the way across your row. So you'll see that there's a lot of chain work in this particular row that you see. So let's keep on going. So seven, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then just come to the first chain three space. And one, two, three, come to the next one and then chain seven again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and when you come to the other side, you're just gonna go into the turning chain as always, and you're going to put in th uh, three double crochets. So at this point, the repeat pattern is now done. You can reverse this video back to go to row number two once again, and row number two will pick you up again, and row number two will then take you to where you're about to sh show you right here when we establish the chains that hold all of this section right here. You'll notice that it looks like it's going off. It's just because of the way that it's just, it's not been stretched properly yet. But it, uh, uh, you can trust in it because my original sample that I've been working on um, has all of that completely done and this is what it looks like in a different color and I've been really quite pleased with that as well. So this is um, kind of what your goal, uh, goals are. So in my sample here for Karen Simply Soft, there's only three pineapples that sit on top of each other and you can add more if you wish and you might need more yarn if you go to do that and there's a repeat pattern of 13 pineapples in a row that go all the way across in order to do it. But you can really get a good view on how to do the pineapple or how it looks in different types of yarn like this. So this is my sample and I'm now ready to do the edging of it. If you, again if you want it bigger then just make it bigger. It's completely up to you. You just keep adding more pineapples. You can just add more repeat rows. So it's really quite an easy thing to do but now we're gonna move on to the edging. There's two rows that go uh, not all the way around this. There's nothing that goes in the top of the pineapples like you see. So when you're wearing this your pineapples will be upside down. So let, let's visualize it like that when you go to wear it. So what you're having, uh, having here is that when you go to do this is that you're going to come along the edge. Okay, you're gonna come down and then straight across here and we're gonna strengthen this edge up here because this is where you're gonna be wearing it around your neck and the other rows that we have here, we leave this completely untouched here at the bottom so that your pineapples are not interfering with anything. So let's move along to doing edging a row number one of two. To do the edging when you stop, you don't fasten off and you finish off on row number eight. Okay, so you see it, it's the same thing as row number eight here. So now you don't fasten off but now you're going to work down the edge first. So instead of going back across the top of the pineapples, you're gonna come down the edge. And so all we're just gonna do then is we're gonna chain up one and we're gonna just work two double crochets into these side chain or sides that you have all the way down to the next corner which is not very far. So all you're just gonna do is just come around the post itself and you're gonna put in two single crochets into those, the first post and then stretch it out and then into the next one here you're going to put another two. And so you keep moving down all of your, your path that way. So you keep moving down so keep going two single crochets into each and then just keep opening it up if you have to and just put two into each. So in the corner what you want to do is that you want to apply uh, two double crochets into the actual corner itself. So when you come to the corner itself you're gonna come down and make sure two goes into the edge and then you're gonna then go down the other side and I'll meet you there in just a moment. So let me get caught up to there and I'll see you there in just a moment. So as you come up down to the edge, you went two single crochets into the edge and then in the bottom of those where they all are, there's gonna be two single crochets here. So because now you're working, this is the starting chain that we worked on, we are just gonna do one single crochet to each of these as you go across. 
Okay, and then all you just need to do then is go back up the other side but you're not gonna go across that top section of where you were um, before. We're only doing three sides when we go to do this. So you're gonna go all the way across. You're gonna put two single crochets into the very last one of this and then you're gonna move up the side and then you're gonna stop and wait for me there. So don't go across the top of the pineapple because we don't uh, do anything at this, at this uh, section any longer. So continue to single crochet yourself all the way across. So just as a quick recap I'm still going along the bottom chain that I worked with and I still need to turn and go up the one side as I do it. So I want just to verify that you are going to do that as well. And remember when you go up the sides it's just easy as uh, two single crochets into each of the, of the posts that go up the side. So it's really quite an easy pattern to be able to follow. Even if you're off by account, this particular pattern really doesn't matter. So I'm on the edge. I wanna make sure there's two. So I got one here already and I wanna make sure there's two single crochets in there and then I start working my way up. So just pull it apart and get the two, get the posts separated so you can put in your two single crochets and do the same thing then working your way all the way up and then I want you to stop once you get to this top side and again this one is not a very big uh, section right here. So I'll see you at the end of this uh, row and then we'll continue to move and do one row together. So as you come up all the way to the top of the other side here what I strongly recommend is that your final one you should always put two in there. Your final one should go right into an actual um, holding spot so like in the top of the single or top of the double crochet and therefore it won't slide down on you. So you leave the top of the pineapple alone and now we're gonna turn and work and do something completely different. I've never done anything like this before and let's begin the next and final row. So the final row just of the three sides that you're doing only you're gonna chain up one first and then single crochet into that first stitch. So here's what we're gonna do then is that you're going to chain three one two and three and then you're just gonna single crochet into the side of this single or sorry you're gonna double, half double crochet into the side of this single. So wrap the hook and go into the side of that single crochet and then pull through and then pull through all of it. It's a half double crochet. I'll show that again. So skip one stitch, single crochet into the next and let's do that again. So chain three. So one, two and three come into the side of this single crochet right in the same one or so you gotta wrap that hook first and then going in pull through and then pull through all three loops for a half double crochet. So it's gonna uh, require you to pay attention a little bit right. So skip one single crochet in the next and you're gonna do this uh, basically following it even around the corner of doing the same thing so there's no special things on the corner. So chain three and half double crochet into the side of the single crochet in order to get it to work. So it's gonna leave these nice bubbling kind of looks on the outside that you see. So skip one, single crochet in the next, chain three and then come in to the outside. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna leave the rest for this go all the way uh, to and do all three sides and then fasten off weave in your yarn tails and that's it that you are done and I'll leave a photograph here of what it's gonna look like in the end. So until next time I'm Mikey on behalf of Yarn Inspirations as well as thecrochetcrowd.com thank you so much for joining me today. We'll see you again real soon. Bye bye. <music>